What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video here in the Integra Build Series. So, we have our very first ever autocross. I shouldn't say very first ever. First ever since 2010. So, we're going on 11 years right now since I did my last autocross with a, I believe, a 1990 or 91 CRX SI. So, we have the DA Integra. As of right now, it's pretty much ready to go other than doing a few things uh, before the race. Uh, I'm going to go over a few of those things, what we're going to do to get the car ready. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I mean, we're pretty much ready to go. Hopefully we have all our brake issues solved. We won't really know for sure until we get there and start running it, but hopefully we don't make it an hour and 20 minute drive for nothing. So stay tuned in this video and we're going to show you some sweet, sweet things. So one of the things I'm doing here this week, I'm uh, I'm adding some fresh fuel. So <clears throat> the problem with this car is the, I don't know if it's the fuel gauge itself or the level sensor in the tank doesn't read. So I never know how much fuel is in it. Uh, so what I did this week was I, on the bottom of the tank, they have a drain plug. So I pulled the drain plug, drained all the fuel out of it. It had like eight gallons of gas, eight or nine gallons of gas in it, which I don't want that much in it at a time. So Drained it all out, put what I wanted in a five gallon can over there. And I went and got actually five more fresh gallons or five more gallons of fresh gas. And I'm just going to put five gallons in here. That should probably be enough for me to do the whole day. I'm not too worried about it, but I'm also bringing a five gallon, another one with just in case, but I'm only going to put five gallons in, keep the weight down in the back so I can help rotate the car. So that's one of the things I'm going to do here is throw five gallons of fresh fuel in her. So what I did um, next was I aired up all the tires. I got like 35 PSI in all the tires right now. Uh, once I get to the track, um, I'm more than likely going to probably drop it down to 28 or 29 and start there. Um, I do have a portable DeWalt uh, air compressor. Basically, it runs off of 110 cigarette lighter or you can run a DeWalt battery in it. I have all DeWalt tools so you literally can set your tire pressure in half pound increments uh, I believe up to 60 or 80 psi and you set it and it'll fill it up to the pressure you want. So I have that as well as I have a really nice snap-on tire gauge so I can make sure that I got the tires dialed in but I'm going to start with a little bit more psi in them until we get there um, and then adjust those accordingly and once we get to the track um, the other thing I just did was I had to swap out the uh, fuel pressure gauge, or yeah, the fuel pressure gauge on the aftermarket fuel rail. Um, the one I had here was a VMS one, and the issue was is the fluid in it started leaking out everywhere, and it's only about a quarter of the way full. It was almost full, and it leaked out all over the fuel rail, and yeah, sucks. So. Just bought a cheapy one off Amazon just to throw on here for the weekend, um, just so it wasn't leaking shit all over it. But I'll eventually swap that out with, you know, probably a, a name brand one after after this weekend. So I'm not too worried about it. It'll be fine for now, just with the cheap gauge on there. When they tune the car, they already set it and should be good anyways. It's just basically for my knowledge so I can make sure that, you know, I got fuel pressure, that sort of thing. I don't care so much about how accurate that one is. But as long as it doesn't leak the... Uh, what is it? Not glycol, whatever the fluid is that they put in those gauges. Um, I just don't want it to leak all over the place. So, um, that's pretty much all I'm going to do for the car. Uh, like I said, I put fuel in it. I set the tire pressures up to 35 PSI. Uh, just going to check the oil. I can see right now the coolant's good. Um, air filter's clean. There really isn't much for me to do. The new mullet stickers just showed up in time. Hell yeah. Also got a couple new stickies here. Got the YouTube channel. Got my sister's business on there. She's the one that printed a bunch of these decals for me. So check her out on Facebook as well at Stick It To Me Graphics. So hell yeah. Do my laptop charging. Need that so I can uh, mess with settings in the car. Uh, with Honda, the S300. Uh, when we're at the tracks, so I can change uh, launch control if I need to move VTEC around, 
move the rev limit around, that sort of thing, I, I have the option to, uh, to do that. Also, you guys probably haven't ever seen it, but uh, this is my helmet. It's a Bell Roland Sands Design Edition. Pretty, uh, pretty badass helmet. Haven't really got to wear it, wear it much. I think I've only worn it a couple times, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I do have the truck all loaded up as well, so I think we're probably going to end it at that. The next video you guys will see will uh, will be race day. So, alrighty, we'll see you guys on Sunday.